Hello friends, this video on visualizing shapes part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learned about the faces, edges and vertices of various polyhedrons, it is important to learn about Euler's formula. This is interesting. So Euler's formula says that for any polyhedron with f faces, e edges and v vertices, that is we assume that the number of faces is f, number of edges is e and number of vertices is v, then this relation will always hold true, that is f plus v minus e is equal to 2. So if this relation is true, only then that particular object is a polyhedron. If this is not true, then that particular object can never be a polyhedron. So you want, you want to prove that how this is true. So let us take examples of various polyhedron. So what is this? This is a cuboid. Right? So let us try to find out the number of faces, edges and vertices in the cuboid. So as we have seen that number of faces, how many faces? Top, bottom, two side faces, front and back faces. So total of six faces. How many edges? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So total 12 edges and how many vertices? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So this is at the back side which we can't see. So there are total 8 vertices. So let's apply this formula that is f plus v minus e. So that will be equal to 6 plus 8 minus 12. So 6 plus 8 is 14 minus 12 that is equal to 2. That means this relation holds true for a cuboid. So cuboid is a polyhedron. Yes. Let's look at one more example. So what is this? This is a triangular pyramid. So for triangular pyramid, how many faces do we have? So we have a triangular base plus three triangular faces on the sides. So total four faces. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five and six. Six edges and how many vertices? One, two, three, four. So total four vertices. So in this case f plus v minus e is equal to 4 plus 4 minus 6. So that would be 8 minus 6 which is equal to 2. So again for a triangular pyramid also this relation holds true. Let's take one more example. What is this? This is a hexagonal prism. So what do you think? Will the relation hold true for hexagonal prism also? It should because hexagonal prism is a polyhedron. How many faces do we have? So two hexagonal faces plus six side faces. That means total eight faces. How many edges? So six sides in the hexagon. Again, six sides on the hexagon on the top. So six plus six would be 12. Plus you have how many edge sides like this? One, two, three, four. Again, back side also two. So total six. So there are total 18 edges. And how many vertices? So six vertices of one hexagon, again another six vertices of another hexagon. That is 12 vertices. So F plus V minus E, which is equal to 8 plus 12 minus 18. That is 20 minus 18, which is equal to 2. So with these examples, it has been proved that Euler's formula indeed is um, um, a, a true fact because it comes out to be true for all the polyhedrons. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.